gave you permission to record it. You did when you signed it. It's still public. I got it out. You need to send a picture. That was the first one. There's more than you. You already signed it. Oh, I didn't see it. I told you. Yeah. 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 Ye
Oh, you're going to see how dark you Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. Can you turn on the detective? Okay. 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 How do you put that back here? I'll tell you after. So you did it? So we're going to we're, we're watch this video. This is about a guy who quit his job and traveled all over the world. He made a really cool video. I hope you guys really like it. Um, I should be coming on in a second. Why did he quit his job? Because he wanted to travel. People want to travel um, because they want to learn about the new culture. They want to like, experience the world. And sometimes what happens is that when you're in a job and you save up all your money and you want to go do something with it. So like for me, I travel like twice a, twice a year. So like in the summer, I'm going to go to Pennsylvania because my family's over there. So I have to save up money to buy the plane ticket, right? And, and have money to do that. So here we go. This guy, quiz job, he traveled to 13 different countries. And he made a really cool video about it, okay? Are you ready? 40,000 miles 40, and one iPhone in Paris. Which is old. It's a couple years old. Not that old. It's barely two years old. If you like computer um, like animation and editing, I think he did a really good job editing this video. It's really cool. Yeah, he has something. Real. So you travel the whole world. And all the things he gets to do because he went to different places, right? Waterfalls, the beauty of nature, right? All these really fun things.
airplane. Right? Train. Airplanes tend to be the biggest cost when traveling. Because they cost a lot of money to fly to get a ticket to fly from one country to another. Okay? So I'll make sure you follow along, okay? If you want later, we can do that too. So that's something we're all gonna have to do because the places that we're going to are in different countries. Now there's also things like trains and buses. And these are things that you can find on the internet how much it costs to travel on the bus. So like anybody take a bus now? Anthony, how much does the bus thing cost? Like a dollar or two. Dollar or two. So it's a lot cheaper than like say eight hundred dollars. Right? But you don't get as far. It takes longer, right? So that's the perks of, of an airplane. It's faster, but it costs more. A train takes longer, but it costs less. Um, when I'm in the metal school, um, I'm, um, I'm in high school and next year. Um, I'm gonna take the metro. Okay. That's faster, right? So because you yeah, need a train. It, it gets me like in LA, you got me there in like 30 minutes. Right. That's pretty so good. So that means it might get me here like in 15 minutes. Way better, right? So you can sleep in a little. Yeah. Wait, what bus did you say? The metro, the train. Oh. It's very fast. And it also it's like 12 bucks. Uh oh. Okay, next one. Hotels. So this is how we would do this on Google, on the internet. You would type in hotel in where, right? We could say Egypt. It, it, Rome, Italy. Right? Um, Egypt, you could say, yeah, hotel in Egypt. There's hotels. There's hotels. Um, so you would type in the city that you would like to get a hotel. So there are expensive hotels and there's cheaper options. There's sometimes like motels. Depending on where you would like to stay will determine the cost. Bigger cities tend to cost more than smaller cities. Why do you think? I'm writing this to Kurt. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to you later about it. Just follow him. So why do you think bigger cities might cost more? Because they're private. Well, bigger cities often have more things to do. They're more fun to hang out with in, right? So they charge more for the hotels. Okay? Airbnb. Who's heard of Airbnb before? Dylan, what is Airbnb? It's like a thing where you live in someone's house. And, uh, Okay, so it's where you can like stay in someone else's house for like a week, right? That's kind of cool because some people like to live in like a home rather than a hotel. Well, you, know people you don't know, so. Next, <clears throat> food. Look at special meals that you really would like to try in the countries or cities that you're going to. So for instance, Chicago has deep dish pizza. Or Philadelphia has the Philly cheesesteak, right? What would you say LA has? Anybody? Or Pomona? What do you think? Go ahead. Well, if you're on Mars 15, you live in Mars 21, you still live in Mars. Well, that's everywhere. Most well, places. Several, several places don't, uh, don't have Mars. Yeah. Okay. True. Chili dogs. Chili dogs. I don't know. I don't know if that's an LA thing, but they're good. <laughs> yeah, I know you love chili dogs. So, are we done? Plan the budget for your food. So for me, when I'm traveling, I plan a budget. I don't want to go over that budget because I have other things I need to pay for, right? So I might say $10 for breakfast, $10 for lunch, and $10 for dinner. Or I might say I don't eat a lot of breakfast, so I might say $10 for lunch and $20 for dinner. Does that make sense? So try to keep to a budget when you're traveling for food because you don't want to run out of money, right? Souvenirs. It is usually nice to have something from your location when you travel so you can remember the trip. Well, I'm a little too fast. Oh, no. No. It is not. I'm just writing these words really fast. So souvenirs are really nice to have when you are traveling. When you bring them back. So like years later, you can remember kind of the things that you experienced when you were there. Family members also really enjoy getting like a postcard while you're away, right? You would send it, you write from the address, and you'd send a postcard to say, your mom, and say, mom, look at me, I'm in, I'm in Rome, I'm having a really good time, I can't wait to be back home, I hope you're having a good time at home, you know, you know, let them know that you're thinking of that. Parents really enjoy that. Do you have a question? Do we go with your parents? 
Landmarks. Most landmarks have an entrance fee. What's an entrance fee? Does anybody know what an entrance fee is? Dylan, what's an entrance fee? Like you have to pay them money to go in. Right. So you have to pay money to go in. Um, because you get to see all the extra stuff in the inside. Like it's nice to look at the Statue of Liberty, right? But it might cost money to go inside the Statue of Liberty, climb yeah. inside and see how it looks on the inside. I don't think they're going to let anyone touch the Statue It's been a while since they did They used to do that. So, yeah. very good though. Good job, Tony. That is the end of this slideshow. Now I'm going to show you an example of what I'm expecting you and your partner to make. Yeah, the same things I just talked about. Those are great things. Yeah, we're going to have partners that are like, what? It was really exciting. We got to see a lot of people. We got, we got a great food. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. Craig, you went to India? Yes. No, I, I planned a trip to India. Oh, okay. When? Right? For this lesson. So India by Mr. Kerr, this is what you guys are going to make with your partner. So pay attention. Ask questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, why India? I chose India because I found that they have a lot of religious diversity and I found that incredibly interesting. Buddhism. That's so they have Buddhism, they have Sikhism, they have Islam, Christianity, all within the one country. Yes. I learned all that in history. Exactly, that's why we're doing this. Travel. So for me, I looked up how much it would cost to fly to New Delhi, a city in India. And it costs $850 to fly in one way. Like I said before, it's very expensive to fly. It takes 37 hours to get there with only two stops. Wait, if it's 37, the that's, reason, that's, like, that's like two and a half days. Well, what happens is that you have to stop here for a little bit. Oh, and then you have to wait because it, it not the flights aren't constantly going. You have to wait for the flight to come and pick you up. Also, the in. How much would it cost to go around the whole world? That's a good question. I don't know. A lot. Probably. So, hotel. The hotel I chose. I chose the Marriott Hotel in New Delhi, Aero City. And it costs $151 a night. Five, five nights, that comes out to $755 altogether for five nights. So, I'm sleeping in this hotel for five nights. That's how much it would cost me. Whoa. Do you see how I got that? I look up how much one night costs, and I multiply it by five. Five. Very good. I went to a restaurant. This is a very special restaurant in Delhi. It's a giant building, but it rotates. The building is spinning. Oh, so that's cool. It's very cool. It's a revolving it. restaurant. And for me, what my budget is for my food is $40 a day. Yes? Have you been there before? No. Because uh, uh, if it's going this way, then how do you walk back? Okay, question. Uh, like, check the kids. Yeah, maybe. Shh. Tony, pay attention. What's that? The things that you go around in houses or something? I don't know. But um, I have $40 a day for food, and I multiply that by five for my five days, and it came out to $200. You see how I did that? I came up with a, a number that I want to spend on food, and I stick to it. Souvenirs. India is well is, is known for its cashmere. What's that? It's a type of cloth. Oh. Very soft, very nice, very colorful. And so it costs 1,000 rubies. Rubies are gems. No, they are gems, but the type of currency, what they use for money. So instead of dollar bills, they have rubies. And 1,000 rubies equals 14 dollars here. So it's not that bad, right? So I do the conversion. That's what the thing I want you guys to do as well on your part. And then the landmark I went and visited was the Mayan tomb, which is this giant, beautiful building that is free entrance, has free entrance. So it's really easy to go and visit and look inside and you go see it. Is it made out of chocolate? What? You can't tell the chocolate. Stop being that's your point. Anthony. How come uh so since that stuff is really soft and it costs a thousand rupees, mm -hmm. can't you trade a thousand, uh, fourteen dollars for a thousand rupees? Yeah. So when you go to the airport, they usually have this place where you can change your currencies, and that's a pretty normal thing. But it's the same. It's the same cost. You know, you're not gaining more money, right? You're just getting how much fourteen dollars is in rupees. So if you go all the way to New York, that would be more money. No. Also Quick question, yes, yeah, still. What did they look like? Let me just, I'll look it up in a second, I don't even know. Uh, how does money work? Over there? No, most of the money. Um, in our 
country? So our country all has the same money. So the money you have here in California looks the same as New York. Oh, how about France? In France, they have different money. And so what I can do, if you guys are really interested, tomorrow when we, we finish up our project, I can show you guys some of the monies. Yeah. Sound good? Oh, and also, um, in uh, Mexico, uh, part of Mexico, they actually use dollar bills to actually use um, gold uh, coins or gold Pesos. Bills. Huh? Pesos. I think. Hmm. Yeah, but they're actually like dollars. Yeah. And so if you bigger, like a big uh, like a half dollar, that uh, was, I think, $50. What? Okay, so remember, these are the things, I'm going to give you a copy of this PowerPoint so you guys know what to do for years, okay? Are you clear? Yeah. Are you doing that? Yeah. And then overall, this is the end of my PowerPoint. I'm saying this was amazing, this will be an amazing trip. Um, the cost should be around three to four thousand dollars overall because I like to be fancy. That's what I said. Does that make sense? So you're going to calculate all your costs at the end and tell me how much it costs for you to go on this trip. That is the end of my PowerPoint. How are you going to work in pairs? You are going to work in pairs. That means two people. Can I have the lights on, Tony? No, I can't you can open that. No, don't turn on the lights. Yes, please. Do today. Um, uh, they don't work. So, right now I'm going to help you guys pick your teams. Ian. Ian. Who else would like to do Egypt? Me. I want to do Egypt. Me. So, Ian and Anthony. Who's Ian? Me. Never mind. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Alright. Okay. Sit right there. Um, what? Greece. No. No? Okay. <laughs> Rome. Italy. So we have Michael. I need someone to be Michael and Tony. So I'm gonna have Michael be over there next to Tony. And then China will be Genesis and Dylan. No. Who's <laughs> Steve? So. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna make these powerpoints, and at the end of class tomorrow. And we'll be presenting. Mr. Yes, I'm trying to do it. I'm doing it last time. What's up? Is that you right now? Can I be after school? Thank you. Sorry. All right. So. I was just checking. So. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna sit next to your partner. You will make a PowerPoint. I'm gonna give you examples and a checklist that you need to follow, okay? Tomorrow, at the end of class, you will be presenting and we'll do the raffle. Does that sound good? That will be our day tomorrow. Wait, your name's Steve? Sean. Oh. Oh. So, get with your partners and now I'll give you a few. No, Genesis said the. Yeah, it should already be on Google Slides. Decide who's going to be in charge of it. Make sure you guys know which country you are doing. That's what you need to have on it. I'm passing out the checklist. These are the things that will be grading you on, on your PowerPoint. Can I do more? Of course. If you do more, you have a chance of getting 100%. If you do exactly what is expected, that means you're going to get a free... Wait, hold on. I'm going to be passing out my example I gave you guys so you can look back to it and how I did it. Okay? Here's the example that I had earlier, so just because you guys need a model of what it needs to look like. Okay. 
be like big or like a like a small campaign. Right there. Very nice. Hey, here you go. Yeah. Two bags. 
Yeah, we got no time. We got some deals. Um. <laughs> We do? We have a little bit tomorrow too. We have a little bit tomorrow. Too. We have a little bit tomorrow. But there's a lot of stuff you need to have. We do. So this is our, all right, so for the Black Rumble, we have to No, but we need to look for the rice. The rice. Maybe I left my pet. Where is that? I need one towel. Don't get mad. Make sure that you guys see this. Did you guys need all these things?
No, two jokes till tomorrow you left. So, you know, we've written down the slide, you can write down here, so you don't have to write down the slide. No, it's all. I mean, it's all. I mean, it's all. So don't forget, we're saying tomorrow. So once you get the, air, um, the airplane cost, write it down on your checklist. So you don't have to worry about keeping that pad open. This is all you need to have, that's how I'm reading it. Okay? So, after you're done with your airplane cost, look up the hotel cost. Kyle, we're going there. <laughs> what? That's oh, okay. It's behind the computer. Wait, okay, I want to hotel search, but I don't know what hotel is. So name. smart. Just type in hotel in, what city are you flying into? Uh, Florence. Hotel oh, in. Florence. Or Florence. Yeah. Florence. Uh, yeah. You're going to fly, it's fine. Uh, we're going to, it takes Hotel in Florence. And the don't fly it. Type that in Google. Oh. Okay, so we're, that's we're, green we're, we're using a thousand? No, we're not. We're using the green one. No. <laughs> the green one. Of the we need the most of the less. <laughs> so which one did you pick? <laughs> which one did you pick? The top one. So this one takes the top one. So this one takes the one. So let's not stop. There's no stops. Two stops. That's why it takes longer. But it's longer. Yeah, let's take the most of the less one. Uh, the cheapest is the most It's a good idea. Get over it. Hey, you're learning. Oh, right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I put it. It says you'll be I think he just went. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
the only one that has a
and our ways like a million times and I gotta get it up now.
Michael, what are we doing tomorrow? Life. Oh, um, space your representation. And how are we presenting? Life, yes. Thank you. Tony, what are we doing tomorrow? Uh, finish our presentation and um, okay. Dylan! Okay. Tell me what Tony just said. Uh, oh, uh, that we're presenting